and welcome to Pints with Porter, uh, the first ever episode. It is Easter Sunday. Um, it literally is what it is, Pints with Porter. I thought, what am I going to call this? I don't know. I have a drink problem. Um, Pints with Porter, so there you go. I said that to Ian, my friend Ian, and he just texted back going, Jesus. And I was like, what? And he went, no, just Jesus. So there you go. Um, it's Sunday, Easter Sunday. And joining me on the couch today is Gary Lynch. How are we doing, Gary? I'm doing okay. We're on cans today. We'll have pints next week. Cans. Yeah. Technically speaking, it is half pints with Porter because it's not. Yeah. But fuck it. I've got a I've got I've got I've got a hangover. So fuck you. Um. So and Ryan Ryan Wingfield Ryan Wingfield. Cheers. Um. Slauncher, all that stuff, you know. I like the way you wore the green. That's great. That's great, you know. Oh, happy gone. accident. Happy fucking, accident, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ryan Patrick Wingfield, Patrick right? Patrick yeah. Wingfield. Yeah. Um, his address is going to be in the comments <laughs> below. So, uh, yeah. So, welcome, guys. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Um, no, it, it, it won't say cunt, you know. It won't, it won't say the word cunt. I think that's a good thing. It's the context of it. It's, it's the intent behind the word that I have the problem with. Uh, okay, he's so fucking American, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, a lot of guys just looking at you going, what the fuck's he talking about? <laughs> well, I get it, I get it. I was only in America once, and uh, they don't mind a bit of swearing. They like a bit of swearing, not as much as here, but you do not say that word over there. No. Then they will turn on you big time. Yeah, because I, I don't have a problem with the other words for it. The other, you know, like uh, pussy, vulva, clitoris, all that stuff. Fine, great, you know, vagina. Yeah, no, but, that, that, but but this podcast is going. The whole hour of this podcast is going to be getting you to say the c word. <laughs> Go on, say oh say say the c word. It's it's, it's, it's c c cunt <laughs> country. Yes, oh, yeah. country oh, God, roads, take, take me home <laughs> to the place. Where I belong. Yeah, I, th- I think that's. I think that's. You know, if you, if you substitute country for that word, that that song makes a lot more sense. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Um, Easter Sunday, lads. Easter Sunday. Um, you get any chocolate Easter eggs? No, I don't. No. Nobody buys me eggs. No Easter. Nobody no, bought but, me eggs. Oh. And even then, I didn't get many eggs. <laughs> Different times. <laughs> You're so miserable. <laughs> all festivities make me miserable. I like a cheese. I, gi- I give up. I give up all the stuff. I give up all the stuff for Easter. I, I, wow. I gave up like all the for Lent. Sorry, I gave up all the shit. I gave up all the lost half a stone. Yeah, he said he gave I, I lo- up drinking. Thank, and thank you for your support. There, <laughs> he, he told me he gave up drinking, and that lasted what two days. <laughs> He's actually on stage and he goes, so uh, Michael gave up drinking for Lent. That was two days ago. <laughs> sweets are easy to give up. Although I got a result. I bought some sweets in the pub and I, and to share with me and Michael. And then I didn't have to share, which was great. I enjoyed um, it. 15 years, mate, we've been doing this shit together. Oh. 15 years. Jesus, I was in a bad mood already, Michael. Couldn't even <laughs> him. Yeah, um, so it is a law and a rule here on the podcast that you have a drink. So um, you picked them. It was you picked them. So uh, this would be so funny if I hit you in the face with this. Um, there we go. Yeah, good catch. Yeah, that, good shows catch. That, like, that shows that's that. That's like fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just that shows things that around. we are either in the same room. Or look, we look, at, look at Ryan. Oh, where's the alcohol? Give me the alcohol. Um, you ready for the Stone Cold? I am. You ready for the Stone Cold? Let's do this shit. Hit in the face. Oh, yeah, there we go. If you hadn't done that for me, it would have hit me in the face. Special effects. We're actually in different studios. We, we also have to say, by the way, we are not sponsored by Heineken. Uh, we are not sponsored by anybody. I'm That's just an alcoholic. <laughs> you know, Every- the first beer I bought when I was legally able to drink was a Heineken because at the time I thought it was a fancy beer. So that's why you picked it then, right? I, okay. I, I wanted my okay. first beer to be a, you know, like a, like not a cheapo beer or something like that. European Sophisticated European drink. Yeah. But yeah. This, this beer is like um, Heineken. You know, you've got the, when you get to the level of alcoholism that I have, you research your alcoholic <laughs> tendencies, you know. <laughs> Like uh, Dutch, Dutch, Heineken's Dutch, right? But did you know they had like, this isn't very good. Did they brew this here? It's like a franchise thing, right? So like a McDonald's or, you know, they buy into the franchise. So, so you're saying this stuff. is the Scottish take on the Dutch This is beer? more the UK take. Like, so, so, so. That's an extra layer of sophistication. For it's you. the purity laws, man. The purity laws. So. Uh. The Vikings created a law in Germany, and then a lot of these countries adopted it. So, you ever you ever go on holiday and you drink like 
and you get a couple mm. of beers in you and you surprisingly have had more than you would say in the UK and you wake up the next day and you're not hungover and you're like, I get that when I'm in Germany. Yeah, because that's because the Germans, the, the Vikings came over and, and wake up feeling fresh. You know, I mean, that, that was one of the only good things they done. So you can always tell it's more dry, you know. Is it is it better in... in... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's clean. So they only make it with the three main ingredients. Yeah. You can look that stuff up like it's genuinely true. Wheat, barley and yeast. If if they're... I was dating a German girl. Um, Not that German girl, Ryan. <laughs> not that German girl. There, there was a normal German girl uh, so, a couple of years ago. Um, And she was telling me, like, it was on the radio. And I think it was one of the big companies were caught with... Uh, they were caught set mixing chemicals under their beers and they were banned for six months. But they see the UK, they buy into it. So the trick is if you're out, that's why well, you'll always see me drinking Budvar in the Waverley at the show, because that's clean. Because it's bottled. It's not bottled here. It's bottled out there. So they make it clean. Yeah. See, that's why I never drink Guinness when I'm like outside of the UK or Ireland. Like once you get like beyond uh, the the British Isles, if you will. What British Isles? <laughs> <laughs> just... I was gonna say this Ireland. Kind of, what, what's the what's the term for the Ireland? Is that called fall under the British Isles, or is uh, that it's, according uh, to the British it does? But it's uh, it's, the, it's the Western Atlantic Isles. So <laughs> enjoy the podcast. It's your last time on. <laughs> we'll be back again, man. Fuck me. Um, no, yeah, no. The, the... But even the Guinness over here is not the same as it is in Dublin. No, but it's still better than the Guinness. I, I will tell States. you. And do, I people have drink, had... do people drink much Guinness in the States? They, well, in St. Patrick's Day, they do. Uh, they, 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 they drink it, but not nearly as often as they do over here because it's just not as good. I've not had, right, the best pint of Guinness I've had. No, you can figure this out whatever way you want. Cork. I had the best pint of Guinness in Cork. I know why. Why? There's a very specific reason for that. Beamish is made in Cork and Morphe's is made in Cork. Two great stouts. I like them both. But for Guinness to compete against those two, they're big brands down in Cork. They have to. They really look after the pipes. They really look after the supplies and in, inside the pubs to compete against the local stouts. Okay. I was expecting some fun and threatening story, something to do with the IRA, but now I'm bored. Well, apparently the <laughs> IRA threatened them. I said, you know, <laughs> like, the, so, the, the Vikings. Yeah. They're fucking so if you want a dark stout beer, go to Cork. That's the. That's I the think thing. that's true. And uh, Beamish and, and uh, the other one is lovely as with Morphe's. I like them. Yeah, yeah, I like. Do them. you know what they started bringing in over here now as well? Some of the bars, it, the Smithics. They brought Smithics in, but they did not rename that to something else. Kilkenny. Kilkenny, yeah, yeah. They brought that in over. And, did you have all the those? first time? The first time I ever had Smithics was at an Irish bar in Chicago. And it was like, I thought it was like one of the best beers ever. And every time I'm like in a bar where they have Smittix, I, I almost always try it. And it's never been as good as that first yeah. time that I tried it. So I don't know if I had like a different batch yeah. or what, but I thought like, this is a great beer. And every time I drink it now, it's like, ah, it's. It doesn't taste of anything in particular. Yeah, it, it's it's like a, it's the Irish version of Budweiser, yeah. Bud Light, if you will. Well, when I, when I first started working in pubs in 1980, I was three. <laughs> there was three types of beer available only three types of beer harp was your lager yeah Smittix was your ale and guinness you know, was your harp stout never came over here i don't know why that is it never came over to Edinburgh. it's crap harp's all right no come it's on not. it's awful but then in the early 80s then they that's your, that's your british beers in, one there harp round. like heineken yeah. this this is exotic to us this is like this is like the future start i mean i'm just having the thought that uh what, 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 what Ryan just picked up on technically this is half pints with Porter <laughs> but here come here fuck you I've got a hangover so uh, <laughs> I was going to say you're going to make th through two cans before the end of the podcast <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this, <laughs> this is this is a uh, much less than a half pint yeah, that's, that's three, that's three cans three, then by the end of the 30 months three 30 months Mill milliliters for the Europeans imagine um, look at that look at no. that the back it's, it's driving. It's driving Ryan. Fucking Ryan doesn't understand our measurements. I'm trying to remember how many milliliters there is in the There's a QR code there for health, What's alcohol that? and health, alcohol and health. <laughs> for the people who are Jesus Christ, who are, what, who are what are you having like a fucking AA meeting? Use now? a QR code. It's like we need our support. <laughs> Fifteen years, Gary. Fifteen years. What's that? Me and you. That's Doing a comedy. fucking long, long time. Fuck yeah, it is I could long, drag right. you around like a ball and chain. I can fucking married or some shit, you know. 
Where is he? He's dragging along. I was going to say, that's longer than most relationships last. That's... Uh... Like the, the, we, we, we have had our moments. Like there was, there was a couple of times in Germany that we won't talk about. Um, <laughs> sure. Oh, let's talk about them. <laughs> Caught him with another comic, did you? Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it's we, the, we, oh, the icon man. We what was, started. What was, the, what was the first one? Masons was the first time we did a gig, wasn't it? Together? Yeah, Masons. That was Peter, uh, yeah. Peter Davison. Yeah. But mm, we started the. We decided for you for we'll explain for the American. London Derry. We had a gig in London Derry, which is the Protestant side of Derry, um, and Very we calm. were. It was doing really yeah. well, right? You remember that? Yeah. And then I remember the night Sean Haggerty emceed it like years ago, right? Very, very good MC. I I wasn't performing back then. I was just running the nights, and we put it out in the paper because we were trying to get like a double show. Fucking UVF turns up like the Orange Order, right? And all these guys mm. with like bomber jackets, and it was just like. It was so terrifying. We got to the break. We're like, we're never surviving this. And then it got worse. And then this fucker goes and slags off somebody that's blind. <laughs> he goes, are you blind? All right, okay. Context here. We were doing a gig in this place called The Icon on the, the English side of Derry, if you like. The English side. And Jesus. there was a fella in the corner, an older gentleman, wearing a white suit, a Panama hat, and sunglasses indoors. So I just spent, I was, I was hosting this particular gig. I spent the evening calling him, oh, how, how are you enjoying the show, Bond villain? Are you enjoying the show, Bond villain? <laughs> Bond, Bond. And then towards the end of the show, he gets up and goes to the toilet with the assistance of a cane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of going, oh, gosh. Uh, and I know, you know, you know when your, your blood runs cold, you can actually feel the cold. <laughs> so I get back down to where the comedians are, and I go, oh, my goodness. I didn't say, oh, my goodness, by the way. That fella I've been slagging off all night is blind. And Paul Toilak, who was a lovely, lovely man, said, yeah, we all knew. <laughs> just let you fucking oh, continue with it. I said, you like, God could have been killed. This is the English part of Derry, you know? That was a great gig, though. That was a great show. But then it got even worse because I, I brought over a couple of Glaswegian comics uh, for the next one. Yeah. And um, I think it was something to do with the fact that they were warned about it or something, like not to put it on. Mm -hmm. But they, we did. Oh, do, you, do, they, you, do you reckon they had been advised not to have? Oh song? yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. I mean, I mean, somebody went to him and went, you know, because what's worse than a Protestant working with a Catholic is like supporting the Catholic is like you because the guys are from their area and it's all complicated. Yeah. Because in the north, you could your next door neighbor. Or the guy you went to school with could have been the guy going right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna join the paramilitaries, and you're like, I'm gonna go a different way, which makes it really really complicated. You know what I mean? Because you're not, and I think there was something there because because he let us do the gig again, right? And you're Ryan. This was it's there was a comic, right? He's from New Zealand, and he lives down in Galway, and he does this joke, right? It's a very good joke. He he he, he eats a raw onion on stage, right? Yeah. Very very funny, and it's like. Oh, he's, he's, a saying he's a hyper it's stereotype like saying eating, of a... eating if GAA football is like eating a raw onion, right? Yeah. That's what the joke is. It's very, very funny. But he takes off the top to reveal his GAA football top. And for Orange Orders, no, that's like a slap in the face. That's like, <laughs> how dare you in here? So he, I, I, please, mate, please, for the love of God, don't do that joke, right? And what does he do? He fucking ignores me. He gets up on stage and he does the joke, right? I got grabbed with a scruff and I was pulled outside and going, you have three minutes to have it or you're both getting shot. And I'm like, it's a comedy show, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, these guys were massive. Yeah. Like, dudes. As, look, as a look. general rule, telling a comedian not to do a joke is a great way to make sure that they do that joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for people, even in the South, who've been grown, grown up watching this up the North, we don't have the understanding of the intricacies that people who grew up there actually do. So for someone to come from far away to say, oh, showing a GAA jersey could be a bad thing, they, people don't understand that who haven't lived in it. But no, some stories in this fucking industry. Um, what about your gigs? You, you, you're the boats, right? I'm a, yeah, I, I do the cruise ships a lot. Uh, not a lot, like four or five times a year I'll go on a cruise ship for a couple of weeks at a time. It's where I make most of my money, honestly, because yeah. there's... And you party like crazy there, do you? What was it? Uh, you party? Do I party uh, on the cruise ship? 
not I actually have a rule that I'm not allowed to be drunk. Not I mean that's not a rule that everyone follows, but I'm allowed to drink. Is that an actual rule? It's a rule for the the entertainers. I'm not allowed to be visibly drunk. I can't drink on stage. I can't have like a drink. He smuggles it in. He uh, smuggles well, it in. Well, the thing. Coffee like you're, jar. <laughs> you're you actually are. Well, how's this? You're allowed to be drunk just in your cabin or whatever. Okay. The, the situation like that, or if you're at the crew bar, if you have access to the crew bar. Do you know what we call that? Bar. That that you know that sounds like that sounds like fucking internment. You know, you can drink, but you gotta stay in your wee cabin. You know, like and what's, make what's, that moonshine, what's, boy. What's that like? To, what's that like doing gigs on the cruise? Different from doing it in clubs and all that crack. Do you have to be really clean. No, no. Everyone always thinks that. I mean, you, you, they, they have family friendly shows where you have to be clean, but they also have adult shows where you can do pretty much talk about whatever. The, 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 the borderline I would say is you can't. You can swear. You can talk about sex. You can do stuff like this. What you can't do is things that are like racial slurs oh. or, or like or like you what know. like last night's gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like not, not nothing that would be like brutally offensive. Like like yeah. you can talk about stuff as long as you're not saying like you can talk about religion as long as you're not saying like fuck the the Mormons or something like that. You know, you weren't you 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 said Mormons was your second thought, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> Well, I, I I started my comedy around Utah, which is the Mormon Central, <laughs> and so when, when I was writing, when I started out, I had all these Mormon jokes all right. that were like stereotypes of the Mormon culture, and they were always like killing because everyone in the audience knew the the reference for the jokes. And then when I started traveling, I started doing the same jokes, and they weren't landing. I'm like, oh, no one knows what the hell a Mormon yeah. is if you're not near Utah, so they none of them worked. And uh... yeah, no, it's 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 uh. It's a very interesting concept. I mean, last night, last night's gig, talking about the racism. What the fuck happened there? Like, you know. So context is that ah. we were doing a gig last night, and and the show was going great. I opened up very well. I emceed it. It was lots of fun. And then you left right after you left, and mm -hmm. George went on. He ha he, the guy wanted to do a joke and he thought it might be a funny moment and um, audience member this wasn't it? Yeah, and the yeah. audience member he, he's trying to he said no no George he's like I'll hold the microphone right. Let's yeah, just, never give the audience member the <laughs> microphone. Oh. So I, he puts the microphone down to the front and your man's like, so black man walks into a bar and I'm like no <laughs> fuck off right just don't let him do it. Man. Oh god. And there was a black comedian on as well. Yeah. Uh, but Charles Charles was fine mate. Like this, uh, yeah. You, you gotta get these. Yeah, that, I, I know the guy you're talking about. During my set, he kept shouting out Trump. As soon as he heard I was from the United States, uh, he was like, Trump, Trump, oh. Trump. So I had to like quit whatever I was doing there's, and there, like, address See them it. seats? I'm telling you, them seats in the Waverly, there's something about those seats. They attract those types, do they? Like those seats are like, I don't know, possessed by a mischievous fuck or something. We did the first gig in there we ever did, right? That I, I took a video with us. You remember I that, showed That was on the other side of it, but that it was, was the, the front. That was the guy. Yeah. It was the same kind of area and the guy off his face on the MDMA or ecstasy or something like it was oh, just right. sitting it was just sitting like this <laughs> you know? eyes were still and every it, it made the gig so weird because everybody was just like looking at him, him going, yeah. are you okay you know what I mean he thought he thought and the worst he asked he was they didn't buy tickets so they were walk-ins and, yeah. and and he was like oh yeah let's go to this comedy show and he must have been coming up going this is gonna be great and they go oh shit I'm freaking out. Everybody's staring at me. Do you know yeah. what I'm uh, I know. I, I know. I'm showing my ignorance, but MDMA. That's ecstasy, right? Yes, in the powder. No, form. no. Yes, I, 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 I know. I, I don't drugs are for mugs. I don't, I don't do drugs. Well, obviously, I've read. I've read stuff. You know what I mean. But uh, was it, did people start using the powder rather than the tabs? That was the only thing. The only thing that my ma instilled in me when I was young, because of the brain injury. She said, "Michael, you got brain damage. You don't fucking need drugs." <laughs> I would be horrified to see you on cocaine. <laughs> and no, I would like, be fascinated thing, no, to see you thing, on cocaine. If you gave me cocaine, I'd probably be mo the most normal person you ever met. Let's By get way, some cocaine. The, this Doc, guy. did you know that if you give people that have like things similar, to like I don't, I don't have ADHD, I like, get the brain damage, but but if you give somebody with like that kind of side effects cocaine, they they are just calm. Right? And everybody pretends the Irish accent is sexy. It is mine, especially, right? <laughs> But people don't. The American accent is the accent of film stars. So mm. the American accent is a sexy accent just because of that. And people like you pretend the Northern Ireland accent is sexy. It's not. 
It's not. <laughs> it is. It's not sexy, Michael. We got voted the sexiest accent in the world. By people and we from also Belfast. got voted the most unattractive people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, that, face, that, that's face for radio that, stuff, isn't it? That sexiest accent changes every year. You know what, what was the one of the sexiest accents last year? It was Boston. Have you heard a Chowder. Boston accent? Chowda. Park the Shout God, have it, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that is, uh, Mark Wahlberg, right? Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg is there, yeah. The, 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 uh, the, the, what's that one? What's that? What's that one? What's that one? But Matt Damon. Oh, Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting, yeah. Yes. Chowder. Chowder. Yeah. Park the car. Hey, I'm walking in. How do you that's like that? New apples. York, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's New York, isn't it? Oh, I, I love the kind of Bronx New York yeah. accent, you know, like your like your one Janine. Who goes... Hello, Ghostbusters. How can I divert your cool? You know? Yeah, that, that's a, that's. <laughs> You're a, the boss that, apple sauce. You know, kind of. That's like a, a kind of a Jersey-ish yeah. accent, a little bit. I'm but, not. I'm not very good at the at the East Coast accents. I'm out in the Northwest. I'm from the North. Gary, Gary, there's a great uh, Christopher Walken, don't you? I do a terrible Christopher Walken. Oh, do you Christopher but Walken? It's, it's sufficiently good that people know it's him. Yeah. Wow. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Watch. Wow. You should have to watch. What was that? I, I always wanted to. I have the to... 745, 5,000 5, runner up in the Christopher Walken. <laughs> but he's so, he's so obvious that you just go, wow. And people know it's him. And it, that doesn't sound like him at all. Can you not do anything else? Is that it? What's that? Can you do any other words? Uh, chowder. <laughs> <laughs> Park the car. Here, can you do any 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 any, any, any impressions? impressions? No, I'm I'm shit at impressions. I How about you do an impression of a Scottish person and say cunt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> the thing is, like my, my Scottish accent stop is actually the not, po- stop not very the topic. good. But my American friends actually think it's very good. You know, like oh, oh dinner kind of a fancy away drama. The who's got just keep it right or you'll be out your face. Right? It's it's it's. Any Scottish person would be like that. Shit. That, that really is an American trying to. Do I a feel Scottish a lot accent. better Jesus. about my Christopher Walken impression. After that. <laughs> Thanks very much. I like the one, the the X Factor guy. I think I'm good at that. What's his name again? Uh, Peter Dixon. The, the announcer. That's the fella, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, 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 you know the kind of. It's Saturday night and it's live. It's time to face the music. That's a good one. Though. Is he? I, for, is he from Northern Ireland? Yeah, and that's why my theory is. I think anybody with that. Kind of gravelly thing mm-hmm. can do, can do that. I mean, I'm, I will try. I will try. Uh, McKellen, uh, McGandalf, right? Gandalf, yeah. um, because okay. it seems to be on the same kind of, you know. Oh, no, you fool of a took! No, mm. it's like it's like too young of a Gandalf. You you have to like yeah. gravelly. You have to age it up a little bit. Um, fool of a took! You fool of a took! You shall not pass. No, it's, you, actually, that's all right. sh- you shall not pass. No, no, it is. It doesn't sound right. No, yeah, fair enough. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Who else the, can you do? Me? No, I don't, nobody. That, uh, that, that, that Northern Irish announcer you were talking that reminds me of the B 52 singer. Uh, you know, if you see a faded side at the side <laughs> of the road, then that's 15 miles to the left. <laughs> That's my go-to karaoke song. <laughs> oh wait, gosh! Wait, wait, somebody's in the mood for karaoke. Uh, give the man a microphone. I can, and... I can only sing if I'm in, if I'm doing an impression of the actual singer, right? Because 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 that way it's like it's not me singing. It's like a, like no one takes my my singing seriously. It sounds like I'm making a joke out of whatever I'm singing. So, oh, so you know. people laugh at you. You could say I meant it to be funny. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's brilliant. A, I don't know who else I can do. I don't think I can do any accents. I'm, I'm I'm not I'm 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 not like all right fucking Dave we're all lovely fucking all right you, up west you know, up west yeah I'll fucking I'll leave it you. what's I'll it you say you. leave it Phil fucking leave it leave it Phil it, yeah. it's not worth it <laughs> what, what, what about what about like famous Irish people like um, um uh, Liam Nelson or uh, um, Liam Neeson Liam Neeson Liam, yeah. Liam Nelson Liam Jesus Nelson. Christ that's you the know, most you know, American you know response I've ever heard in my life no you yeah. have to say come the only reason that came through is because he's doing a uh, uh, the Top Gun remake, which is a uh, Liam Neeson or Nelson. Uh, don't 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 say Nelson again. Uh, if, if, you call, Nelson. if you call if you if you call him Liam Nelson again, he, he, he will he, find you doing, and he will. He's kill you. doing the role that Leslie, Leslie Nelson Nielsen, Nielsen thing. The Top Gun remake of what? Uh, no, of the Naked no, Gun. No, that's a Naked Gun. No, that's Naked Gun. That's not Top Gun. Naked Gun. Okay, that was me. There's a film that 
does not need remaking. It, None of them. I think anybody in Northern Ireland can sound like Liam Neeson. You know, I have a particular set of skills. Um, you have to get very gravelly with the voice. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like no, now you sound like Sean Connery. Oh. Are they making? Are they remaking Naked Gun? They are. They are. I you know, they are. It's such a dreadful making, idea. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And they, 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 did you watch the fucking Roadhouse remake? What a pile of shit. I haven't seen I haven't that seen one yet. What a pile of fucking shit. Well, I've never seen the original. They took a either, martial arts so. movie and put CGI in it. What the fuck? Patrick Swayze did all of his own shit. I can't. Uh, CGI should be. Uh, if I rule the world, right? I will eventually. The maximum <laughs> yeah, length of yeah. a, the maximum fucking length of a movie. Maximus Decimus really is over here. The maximum here. length of a movie will be two hours. Mm-hmm. Any more than that? Make a mini series or bring out a trilogy or whatever, and CGI should be banned. If you can't do it as a visual effect, as a natural, a physical effect, don't do it. Human CGI, I would say. What you mean? What do I mean is like, like you see like an action movie where somebody like jumps like three stories up in the air, and then it clearly becomes a CGI person who's jumping up. Like I don't mind CGI if it's like Godzilla fighting King Kong or something, right? There's no way you're gonna have that in practical effects, right? But I, I, I don't like it when it becomes like a something you could have done with with practical effects and they're just like too lazy to train them how to fight Kung Fu or whatever. Yeah. Or, or, so they just... Uh, uh, I, that's, you see, the thing I that really stressed if you me can't do it, If you can't do it for, for people... But the, thing, the thing with CGI is, and I remember saying years ago, every time I watch CGI in any film, I always thought, oh my goodness, I bet the producers wish they'd waited just five more years and CGI would have been better. <laughs> But it's the other way around now. CGI is getting more and more obvious. Yeah, we got those articles worse. now where fucking they've got AI written, writing scripts for movies. Yeah. That's just mental. Well, the the reason why, well, that's kind of the same reason why it's happening is because like so many movies are using CGI. It used to be like there were like three CGI companies and only like the most expensive. Like if you watch the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, like those really hold up well. And then you saw like the, the Hobbit ones that came out after oh. that. And they rushed that through, and so they had just like terrible CGI moments in those movies, where you're just kind of it takes you out of the moment. And but everything. to go back to the original point, the reason why Roadhouse fucking annoyed me so much is because you had Conor McGregor, who is MMA trained, right. and then you've got Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. who is a trained boxer and MMA as well because he did that movie Southpaw. Yeah, right. So the two of them could have went hard at it. But then they threw CGI in it. And you know, I bet why? I haven't. I bet it looks obvious as fuck. Does it? Why? 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 Do, but does it look obvious as fuck? Yeah, it's an insult to Patrick Swayze. I can, oh, I can never watch Ghost. Fuck, is he Ghost? Yeah. Ghost freaked me out, man. Why? So because he all died, and I had the near death experience. Oh, you know? so it's a, it's like a post traumatic stress. Yeah, for you. It's, it's like, like a fucking night. I used to. I, I was six years of AIDS in my room. I would have every time Ghost came on. You know, one of the most romantic movies in the world. You know the pottery scene. Uh, yeah, my yeah. love, yeah. my darling. I'm going. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna die. <laughs> well, at, at least with your near death experience, you saw like a light and people waving you on. You didn't have the demons trying to drag you down yeah, to hell no, like that in that movie. Yeah, like the villain. He deserved that. He was an absolute. No, he was an asshole. asshole. Yeah, he was an asshole. Doing that to his um, they, no. they should. They should never remake Ghost. That would be. That would be an atrocity. I've never seen Roadhouse, the original though. So, so tell me, Roadhouse. with the Americans, right? Mm. With the Americans, do you like have some really kind of mad humor we sell as well? Would you like would you would you go full on with like like how the Irish would take a traumatic situation and give you a nickname off of it? Would you like the Americans like with too black to do Mickey, that? Mickey and that kind of stuff? Um not really. I mean there there's some like some subcultures, like there are some parts of New York and stuff that would be kind of like Yeah, that. quite working class, quite hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The um but but not 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 where I grew up. No, I grew up in I grew up in what's like gen, generic America. That's why my, my accent's called Jamaican. Yeah, it's a generic American <laughs> accent. Oh, but, but that's that's something that I was just we were talking about accents earlier, and like you know you got your you got your Boston and your you know your your Jersey and New York and your down south and obviously the, the Texan ones. Mm-hmm. But for the rest of them, we have no idea. But are they are they that generic that across three hundred miles they all sound the same? I I've I've seen a study that they say it takes over a hundred years for a local accent to develop, and a lot of the Western United States in particular, like the 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 oldest, like I was living in Boise, Idaho before I moved over here. the The oldest building in Boise, Idaho, is maybe a hundred and thirty years old. Oh wow! So, 
you know, the, the people haven't lived there enough to deform their, their local regional accents. And then, of course, everyone's traveled around since then. So they're, they haven't really locked in and developed. Yeah. Maybe they never will. With the way people move these days. They, they, the, they, 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 the Irish are very like, you know, because I've been writing that joke. Um, and the fucking Irish are just take your trauma and just give you Where'd a fucking name. Where'd you get name the name Mickey Flaps? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, like, because Where'd you get that name? When, 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 when the cure hit me, when like, it was five, and my dad, my, so, yeah. so my dad was paying the milkman, right? And it was Good Friday in 1989, right? So I've got a rivalry with Jesus over that shit where... Where the fuck's my public holiday? Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't think you're going to win that, but go that's ahead. for another day. You know, <laughs> start that's a like, Facebook that's campaign. Like the show on when Elvis. Happy is Michael show. Porter Day. It'd be like fucking St. Patrick's Day, but with petrol bombs. Um, no, the my dad was paying the muck man, and he wanted to go to the video shop because He Man Masters of the Universe came out, right? What year was this? That was a good movie. What year was this? It was 1989. The, the one with Dolph Rund Lundgren? Yes. I know. I didn't even care that it was the guy that had killed <laughs> Apollo Creed. It was still a fucking good... I had all the action figures. I mean, I watched that movie too, but I, I would not argue that it's a good movie. It was, doesn't it's matter. It's dreadful. pure nostalgia. It's, it doesn't matter if it's a B movie. It, it it's nostalgia. so bad it's good. I'll give you that. I was okay. so in love with He-Man, right? I had all the... I had the Skeletor and the Castle and the Lion and, yeah. you know, all of the fucking action figures. And my dad, and it came out in the video Ginger shop. Ginger became the mighty battle cat. I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was like, right, we're going to go get the, if you eat all your vegetables. So I ran out to the streets. And you nearly uh, became one. What? <laughs> <laughs> you could go fuck yourself. You know, Callie's, um, um, and my mum was a mental health nurse. So there's obviously something there, yeah. you know. Fuck. <laughs> Mum well, took her fucking job home with her, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I was going out the street and across the road, my dad was paying a milkman. And it was like this big delivery truck, you know, parked outside the the front of my house. And mm. I just ran right across the road and the car couldn't see it coming. Yeah. So it came out ah. and it fucking like put me under and my head got jammed with a wheel arch and the mud flap. And it dragged me down the street like uh, fucking 10, 10 feet or something. It fucked up because you could be looking at a millionaire here, right? Because should the fucking guy that hit me, didn't he fucking reverse, right? So the police came out to, to measure where the tracks had started and where they'd stopped. But instead of going to where they'd stopped, they'd done it to where he fucking reversed. So I could have been a millionaire here. Yeah, I still would have blown it on shit. But, yeah. you know, so no, I'm going across the road and the car hits me. And that's where the Mickey, because that was the nickname for the rest of my life, was Mickey Mudflap. <laughs> oh, Mickey Mudflap's coming. I mean, that, that's, that's the most Irish thing you'll ever hear in your life, right? It really mm. is. Like, you know, it, that that one you gave me last night was quite good, you know. That that worked really well. Did you see that? No, no. I, like, I, I was I doing the Mickey Mud flap bit, and I was talking about it, and and he gave me one. He went, "Oh yeah, I knew a guy back in the eighties, and he hobbled. He had, a, he had one leg shorter than the other, and he says his nickname was Sniper's Worst Nightmare." <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that that was good, man. Um, but no, yeah. So yeah, that. It happened and it happened on, on Good Friday. Like it, it, I, I had an experience. Like definitely had an experience. That's twenty five years ago. Yeah. So that happened longer ago to you than Jesus actually lived. Thirty five years ago. <laughs> maybe it's your turn. I know. Maybe and Jesus has been. I am the next coming. Taking the piss for a while. Now. I am the next coming. Pints with Porter is is the start <laughs> of it all. <laughs> Could be. I'm, like, I'm a cool Jesus. <laughs> you can have a drink with me. You know. <laughs> You sound like a youth pastor. I'm a cool Jesus. Yeah, I'm starting to think to myself. I'm starting to, even at Easter Sunday, I'm starting to go, fuck me. This is just what, what you know, Jesus doesn't like to share the glory, obviously. Do you know what I mean? No, no, no. He got paradise. I got the fucking English. I think Jesus is <laughs> taking the piss as well. He's just imitating Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. You just can't kill that fuck me, you know? <laughs> That's not, that's terrible. He keeps coming back. On Easter uh, Sunday, that's, that's Just when that's you think awful. he's dead, he comes back. <laughs> for the sequel crucify him you, you stab him oh, yeah. you drop cannon on him we're, oh here no we have to have sequel. a we there, there's something we have to do before we wrap this up I really do not like your son <laughs> we <laughs> all we all shit. went yesterday and made four grown ass men 
playing fucking laser tag. Yeah, yeah. That is my life crisis written all over. Every time, every time you turned around, he was standing behind I you, know. wasting yeah. you. And uh, we, we were like begging him not to shoot us. It was, we were like like a, no- it was like a wraith, a ninja. There he was, blowing me over. Oh, Jesus, no, we had it that bit. <laughs> there he was, killing us all. And uh, we were just saying, we, we didn't know where we were being shot from. But you turn around and you get shot and you look around and, and there he was in the corner walking I know. away, chucking. I know, I know. And then, and then you started fucking ganging up in the both of us. Me two old fucks. Not like, at one point, I was like in the mines in the trenches. I was like this, <laughs> trying, to, trying to fucking... But you know, in our last game, when, uh, when uh, I think it was a, a couple of families came in, there were some really small kids, and I'm talking about six and seven-year-old yeah. girls, and I scored so many points <laughs> off them. <laughs> I absolutely went after him. Mate, I had the fucking <laughs> dad come up to me. I had the dad come up to me going, oh, don't, don't shit the fucking yeah, child. Really I'm like, I felt bad about they had Mate, like the, I need points. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard. Do you, do you see some of those kids were crying? They're like, I can't get in shit. But you know what? I, I think we did them a favor. That was a valuable <laughs> life lesson. I'll tell you one thing, though. When I found out about it, I would have made a very, very bad IRA member. Like, cause I'm not. I'm not good for this that shit. That wasn't your career. I, I was like, I would if that was real, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. We have to go, we have to go pay. See, this is the kind of thing, right? So when we put this out, if you have any suggestions and you want us to do some stuff, we're going to try and get Gary to get a tattoo of a, of a monkey <laughs> on his ass with a big set of balls. Um, I don't put it in the comments. If you want to see, get Gary a tattoo. Gary, hashtag Gary gets a tattoo. And those oh, are, God, that's... We, okay. we need to get you something. Let's set up a GoFundMe for that and uh, a go make fund. it interesting. Go fuck me. We need, to, we need to, we, oh, paintball. Have you ever done that? I've yeah. never done paintball. And I wanted oh, to do paintball. paintball. It's fucking metal, paintball. man. But it, it, paintball and horts. If you get, if you, if you yeah. get, if you get a glancing blow, it's fly, fine. But if you get it coming at you square on, oh gosh, have you had that? Yeah, no, it's, it's like, like we 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 don't one step for it. Was it was my cousins. It was my cousin's uh, stag party. All right. He was getting mm-hmm. married, right? And we went, went paintball. And then at the end of it, we stripped them naked, right? We stand in the middle of the woods, stripped them naked, and just fucking shot them for like 15 minutes. That's not funny. I swear, like, it fucking was That's funny. funny. That's not... you, you're saying it's not funny. No. You wanted to see the welts on his balls. <laughs> it was like big, massive fucking things. Not funny. You see, this how, how is why close, you're how American. How close was that to his wedding? Like, did he have to go on his like <laughs> so his wedding night time. with like like with no, like a welt about, on his? It was about. I think it was about three weeks out. So. Okay, so yeah, time to. But mate, oh, you want to see his arse covered in fucking pellets? Like, it was really, really bad. You know. <laughs> that's not. That's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm really it's glad we're hilarious. friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's not go paintballing. Fuck me. It's just fucking strip naked. You no, know, somebody uh, flip a coin for it. Anybody that gets it, you're fucked. Like, you know. All right. I'm not bringing my son if we go paintballing. <laughs> <laughs> here, come here. Your son is not going paintballing with me. No, I, he, I, he, I, he would I, have I, us fucking dead. I do not like your son. Like, <laughs> like a little Fortnite fucker over here. Like a little, like a little Call of Duty. You know, it's a reflexes. That's what it is. See, the older you, know you get. Was, this, this, is where, this, this is what true psychopaths are like, right? He was really charming and Wait, who's <laughs> I'm talking about Braden. I'm talking about Braden. We're talking about true psychopaths are really charming. <laughs> but then when they get a weapon in the hand, they've no mercy. And then afterwards they go, No, oh, it's lovely meeting you. And you're walking home humiliated. No. Hey, hey, hey. No. I mean, I was, I was, we, we sat in the bar afterwards feeling sorry for ourselves. I mean, me and Gary were like the bottom two out of everybody. You know, it's so bad. I feel like there's a joke where, like, if you're a child who's attended an American primary school you need to know how to handle a gun you know what i mean it's and then he, there's him yeah. right he was proper good as well and he said to me he's like oh yeah i come from a i come from a a a, a family that does not like guns we are very anti-guns and i'm like ryan you're fucking pretty good for somebody that's very <laughs> anti-guns you know what i mean if i lived in it one one thing that i that, that i that would make me move to america is i love guns i would love to be able to own guns and you know Oh, look at that look now. Look at that look. Uh, look, It's going to be the first time he is going to say cunt. (laughs) I'd be like like the jackal. I'd be sort of practicing on more melons to make their head explode like Charles de Gaulle. I'd be, well, Charles de Gaulle, he he was fictitious. But I would love to be living in America. I'd have loads of guns. I'd have AR 15s, AR 16s, the lot. Why? What would you do with them? Guns are great fun. But there's. You know, like, like I never I'm not going to kill anybody. You know, you know all the movies where they're like this, like, pa pa pa, 
wow, and all the pa 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 pa. You go, that's not the reality though. Yeah. I, I, I was uh, uh, Eddie the Beast, Eddie Hall. He was doing a documentary, or not doc, doing one of his YouTube videos, mm-hmm. right? And he was shooting these handguns with some of the most powerful handguns in the world. Now Eddie Hall, one world strongest man, he's a big dude, right? But I mean, he's the kick on these things. You know, he broke his fucking hand. Like yeah. he's a big man, like you know. Yeah, you, you've never shot a gun. I've never shot a never shot a gun. No. And not, just I, I first of all, they're expensive. As is well. where you come from, like a gun I, I place. Grew, I grew up in Alaska, and I lived in Idaho, which are probably two, two places. of the most gun heavy places yeah. of the United right. States. And the the fact that I I've never shot a gun, and I lived in those places, is like I'm a percent of a percent kind of a. You, you want to eat? Yeah, that would, you would be rare enough in those those states, yeah, for having. Yeah, for having. Yeah. I don't know if it is true or not, but Ryan told me he said that um, he actually followed through that if Trump would have been elected, he would leave <laughs> the country, and now he's here. <laughs> so that that's not the reason we moved, but it was an incentive. It was uh, oh, all right. It was kind of one of those like, well, that's a good way to get out of the country because that was like halfway through his first or his term, first and hopefully only term. Mm-hmm. I hope he gets was, reelected. Uh, I, f- I think it's... You hope it's real? Yeah. Oh, here just we just go. for the jokes? Here we go. <laughs> just or just, for, first for the jokes, because uh, I don't know, I don't think you should have a dead man as, as US president. <laughs> a late president. <laughs> still in office, for goodness sake. Uh, come on, man. Come on, man. You know, you're... Oh, oh. oh okay. That's fucking too much. Come on, man. <laughs> Joseph Borden they're keep, Biden. They're keeping him alive with electricity just to stop Kamala getting it. Liam, Liam's got a That's good right. line where he throws into that joke he does now about, like, uh, he, he, he compares Columbia to Joe Biden. <laughs> like, compares what? Like, did you yeah. not hear him do that last night, no? The, the, he does. One of the other comics does a it, joke about uh, getting chlamydia is like voting for Joe Biden. Where it's uh, oh, I believe yeah. the punchline is like, it, it's not your preferred choice, but it's, it's better, better than the, the alternative. The alternative. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, so, guys... This has been a lot of fun, right? I've, I've, I've had fun today. Did you yeah. have fun? This yeah, thing? yeah. It's quite good. I'm looking forward to doing more of these. That helps always. Yeah. It's good for morale. Alcohol always helps. Oh, you know? I find Alcohol that. always helps. I you find know? that. You know? Yeah. So um, but, um, You're a big drinker, right, aren't you? Yeah. Notorious. No, he's not. He's he's a lightweight. He's American. He's two Americans can't drink. You going to say cunt yet? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Because... I might have to work in the U.S. again someday. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, uh, so, guys, you're going back to Dublin. You can back home tomorrow. Tomorrow after. We're doing anything, the gig tonight. And so anything coming up, anything you want to promote? Uh, well, I've got, a, I've got a few gigs back in Dublin uh, coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, but I'm, uh, my main focus at the moment is I'm doing Edinburgh. Yeah. And I'm doing three compilation shows a day. And my solo show... Uh, Middle age came quick. Gary so Lynch, Gary, it was it was nice to know you. He'll be there by the end of week one. Oh, fingers crossed. Four <laughs> shows a day. Oh, it'll be great. Get that's his the name of your show, Middle Age Came Quick. Yeah, uh, died doing what he loved. <laughs> you know, since he died show. doing what he loved, dying <laughs> on stage. You, you, do, you do hold one of the records though for the festival, right? Because you've uh, done 170 most... gigs, but that's been surpassed. 170 gigs. That was in t- that was in 2012, but that has been surpassed, and I'm I'm not even sure it's a record because. I heard subsequently, but there's people who've done over 200 spots since then, and more. Yeah, and but you hosted all these gigs. That you, you were the main host. Oh you no, I was, I, was, I was hosting them or doing spots. Like I, I counted five minute spots as one of those. Right. So you know. So you have four, and uh, where where are they? I've got the Gary Lynch Middle Age Came Quick is in uh, the City Cafe, uh, about three in the day. I think can't remember. We got Dropkick Murphys. We got uh, the uh, no the Brass Monkey, mm-hmm. and this is what happens in middle age. Dementia also came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I find I find dementia soothing. Where am I? Are, are, are we are we in Ireland or are we in Edinburgh? Where the fuck are we? <laughs> Dropkick. Hang on a second. I'm I love how you, I love how you, when he sat down, I was worried he was going to pull a hernia or something. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is, when we're not, I'm actually pretty pessimistic. What are you like, fucking eighty? <laughs> well, but when I buy a new suit, I try it on lying down. That's that's where I'm at. <laughs> so, Dropkick Murphys, uh, uh, Brass Monkey, 
can't you were you were Cab Voltaire for ages, yeah, but that's, that's went the just atomic. Oh, sorry, the 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 pear tree. tree yeah, the you're room in the pear, pear tree. tree, and that's a late. I I knew I'm that. Competing with you. I knew that. I didn't want to help you. Out. I'm, I'm competing with you. You're competing that, with me. We're both doing our skis. Well, guess who's gonna fucking win? <laughs> we both. Because will. I'll still be alive, but the fucking time my shoes on. Michael Comedy will win. Comedy will win. <laughs> And you're not doing anything, are you? you For the fringe? Not, not at the moment? Uh, not, I'm, I'm waiting to figure out my schedule, so I know. I have a few options that I have. Well, you'll, I be, you'll be with us, so I'll, obviously. I'll be, I'll be doing a, a whole bunch of compilation shows and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't have my own show lined up yet because right. I don't know what my calendar is, and I'm not going so to. So we it. are, I am loving brain damage is just atomic. The subatomic room. Up in the nucleus at two fifty, and then the That's good to bad. The, uh, yeah, 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 up by the pleasants, and then the good to bad. The Irish is eleven twenty every night. So, oh, you start five minutes after me. That means yeah. I'll get the audiences. Yay! Oh, you working? <laughs> do you like my hosting jacket? Yeah, that's quite, yeah. That's quite uh, velvety, isn't it's, it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see it with the the, the camera there, but it's it's a dark green. I don't. How many leprechauns did you have to kill it's to make bathed that? Bathed in the blood of many leprechauns. <laughs> and bathed. So... <laughs> bathed. I know. Bathed yeah. in seduction. Yeah. You you um, haven't bathed in years. I'm you sure. know you can ne- you can't you can't meet a leprechaun. You what know you that mean? you can't. They're fucking troublesome cunts. Like they're troublesome. Right, have they uh, never? Have they, you meet a leprechaun and you're supposed to get wishes, right? Right. Is, yeah. Isn't the lore that they're fairies who were kicked out of their glen or whatever the? No, you're just American and heard no. that bullshit. Well, I, never, well, I don't even know what that is. Uh, no, apparently when you see a leprechaun and you get right. your wishes, you'll get your wishes. Right. But they'll always manipulate it and manufacture it. So it will fuck you up. Right? Was that like so, Darby O'Gill and the Little People? Was that based on that? Yeah, you can get a wish for so, like, so, so it's a, like a, a million monkey. quid, but then you'll tax man two and a half million. Yeah, so right. it's like it's like the monkey paws. Yeah, Everything's like, cursed. We are gonna fuck you over. Um. So yeah, no, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I'll make I'll make you you attractive to women, but also impotent or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that's my life. I must have <laughs> here. I must have met a leprechaun in a previous. That was me last week. <laughs> I think. But I hey, knew, look I at the bright side. To... I got a clean bathroom. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> guys, no, this has been fun. We're going to be doing this every week, of course. Ryan, we are going to be going weekly in the Cannons Gate. So check that out. Um, everything will be in the links what down nights, below. All that stuff. You're going to be on in the Cannons Gate. Uh, uh, we're doing now Thursday right through the Sunday. Yeah, every all, week. The, all the four nights. Yeah. Oh. I guess the only thing left to do is say thanks for coming along, guys. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter to you. Um, thanks for having us, man. That was, it's that was been a good fun. We have a gig tonight. We'll go do that. Um, uh, so, lastly, I suppose, the only thing we've got left to do, Gary, is Ryan. Don't say the word cunt or what. Come on, just say it. <laughs> say Don't it. say it's it. Easy, Don't Ryan. say it. We'll all You're say better it together. We'll all say it together. <laughs> One Two, three, come. Tree music star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I should say. Who does no, you're, be- you're a better man than that, Ryan. I, I'm with you on that. No, oh, come on. We, we want to hear it. I mean, the, the, they're going to love you. Yeah, you come I'm good. Come on. I'm good. Cut. 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 Listen, you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the show, guys. Uh, uh, you want to hear Ryan say cunt? You've got to tune into the next episode. <laughs> Look, I've been Michael Porter. Thank you for watching Pints with Porter. Um, thank you to Gary. Thank you to Ryan. Look, check us out again. Come see some shows. Um, happy Easter, guys, and uh, enjoy yourselves this week. Have a good week. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>